Normally, each button needs its own pin, but actually there is a way that we can connect several buttons to just one Arduino pin. So the trick is using an analog input and some resistors. Each button is wired with a different resistor value, so pressing a button creates a unique voltage. The Arduino can then read that voltage and figure out which button is pressed. So what do you need for building this circuit? Uh, an Arduino Uno, of course, uh, breadboards, breadboard wires, or you can just make it with uh, uh, jumper cables, a button kit. I'm gonna use three buttons to explain the circuit. And finally, resistors of different values. So I have a 330 ohms resistor, 820 ohms resistor and 10 ohms resistor. So each of them are at different values and far away from each other. First of all, let's place the buttons. Place them on the middle of the breadboard. So now I power this column with five volts and then connect the five volts to one terminal of each button. So after this is done, we connect one terminal of the resistor to the other pin of the button and the other terminal of the resistor to completely an empty uh, hole on the breadboard. Uh, well, actually, all of these are going to one pin, so I connect them here. I can use just one jumper wire for connecting the buttons with the analog pin. Just like this. So I'm gonna use A5, analog pin 5, and that's it. Now let's move on to the code. So, there is no much thing to do in the code, we just start the serial communication. Uh, serial begin, minus 600. And in the void loop, I write analog read A5. Well, actually, we need to put this inside the serial print line command. Just put a 200 milliseconds delay. So we get a smooth output on the serial monitor. Okay. So now let's send the code and test it. Tools, supports, okay. Send the code, upload error. And why is that? Because I connected to the wrong port. And now it's okay. So open the serial monitor. And right now I'm getting 691. Uh, no button is pressed yet. So I press the first button. And as you can see, 1023. I press the second one. 1020. And the other one, 1023. So how we can fix this, because we get always the same value. We're gonna use resistors with higher ohm values. So I'm replacing the resistors uh, with these values, uh, 2K2, 4K7, and 10K. All right, guys, so actually there was a bigger mistake. I've forgotten to make this uh, pull down with this 10k ohm resistor on the jumper cable that goes to the analog pin. So for those who don't know uh, what pull down is, you can watch my button tutorial video as well, but I'm gonna explain you briefly. Uh, so without a pull down, the pin is floating when not connected, meaning it can randomly read high or low due to electrical noise, which we call a parasitic electricity. And with a pull down, the resistor pulls the pin to ground, keeping it stable at low until another component like a sensor or button is activated. So what I did here, I just grabbed a wire from the ground here on this empty column and put a 10k ohms resistor to the analog pin. So that's it. And as you can see right now, when I press the first button, we get a very stable signal. So 513, 14 and 15. Uh, the second one, we had 837, 
and the last one 693 so by using all these values you can just say to Arduino if the analog uh, pin 5 is equal to the 694 turn on the LED or rotate the motor or whatever so that's how you can use several buttons with just one pin I just connected uh, three buttons but you can connect as much as you want so I hope the video was helpful guys and if you liked it uh, you can put a like down there and see you in the next one